Hey everybody, it's David here and today we're gonna be doing some more buttons. Some arrows, some X buttons, some info buttons, some secondary button styles, right? Because we did our purchase button and it's the primary button, so we should have some more buttons on the screen, right? Because you cannot just do a game with one button. You have to have at least two buttons. So let's begin. All right, so now we have our primary button that we did in the previous tutorial. This time it shouldn't take longer than what it took us to get to this one because we already have the style. So basically what we're gonna be doing is just changing some parameters. Let's begin by creating a base element for a back button, like back previous screen. Let's just copy what we have already. At the moment we will change it to an arrow that points left. And this is where we don't want our player to go, but we need to let them go there. So as it seems, we don't need the texture because texture draws some attention to itself. Maybe we don't need this many glosses. We do need to leave highlights because this is basically the style of the button, but maybe we don't need the shadows at the moment. So of course it shouldn't be this big. If we just take everything, like all the base, all of this element, and try to transform it like that, we're losing all the style. So this is not a good approach. A better approach would be if we just, because we did it all with shapes, we can just select all the shapes, well, except this texture over here. So let's, you know what, let's delete it completely. Select everything with control and click, click, click on what we need, direct selection tool. We can just drag it and with shift and arrow, we can just move them left. And the same we should do on the left and move them right. In this way, we didn't harm radiuses. So we also have this one. And here you really can just shrink it. Because the sides are so subtle, you don't even notice them that much. But it cannot be the same color as our primary button. Let's just imagine right now that all the secondary buttons in the in this particular game will be purple or with some tints of purple and blue. Let's change it to what we said, which was purple. And now let's move to gradients. A tip to know exactly what layer styles you have is just by going to effects and delete hidden effects. So let's just turn it off again and enable only the gradient, the initial gradient that we had for this button. Let's take it to the bluish kind of colors. At this moment, I'm just filling it. So this is gonna be our main color theme for the secondary button. Now our second gradient, there, there is no rule, as I said, just fill it. I like it. Looks good for now. Maybe we change it later, but for now it works. And click OK so that it saves our progress. But let's move to our strokes. OK. The primary stroke, let's try to make it pink. Something like this. And let's change angle so that it all has the same theme on it some scale, whatever feels better. Now, let's change this, this highlight element, it's blending mode to overlay, I change the color of this element to white. And now it doesn't matter what color is gonna be underneath it, it's always gonna be the highlight of this bottom area. Let's get back to work on our strokes. Orange color, it just doesn't sit so well at the moment. So let's just make it this bright and turn on opacity to 100. Here let's do the same bluish colors. It should look colorful and fun but it also has to keep this hint of realism to it. I think we are done with the stroke. Let's make this whole thing unified. Because right now we have this purple stroke and we have this blue uh, base color and they don't connect at the moment. 
So we're gonna connect them by this inner shadow that we have also in our main button. It should be something in this grayish areas. And let's add this other inner shadow that's basically serving as a highlight. I don't think we need to change any parameters here at all. Now to our drop shadows, uh, in this one I think it's better we do it brighter, white, this other one should be purple and this one should be purple as well but maybe let's make it glow just a tiny tiny bit, something like this. And of course we have our highlights and they also have some glow this drop shadow that we disabled when we began it's all in the subtleties and it seems that maybe I did overkill it wait, wait I have still oh right I have this bevel and emboss and you know what it kinda works so here we have our back button together with our main button and maybe we also can just make it smaller just a bit smaller so that it doesn't look so huge because eventually you know it's a secondary button so it should be a little bit smaller now let's make the background just a little bit more interesting Mm -hmm. something like this and you know what maybe add some purples as well on the bottom it's really really delicate maybe stronger mm -hmm. like this let's group them together and call them background it's really easy to make it now something else it can be the exit button and of course I'm using the just the, the font of our main button. We could design it. It's also really easy. Could make this X button more stylized. The same uh, thing that we did with our inflate. Let's make it a little bit wider. Like this, duplicate it, turn it sideways, combine them two, enter them 45 degrees in whatever direction you want. And here you have very nice little X button that even it on itself can become stylized element. And I'm not even sure that we need all of these crazy um, effects on it because as we said, if we want it to be subtle, so there is no need in making it that obvious. This gradient here also can be just a hint of a color like this. We will get back to its color just in a moment. Like, let's make this one really bright. And this blue color could also be less visible inner shadow again just a hint just a hint of what's going on maybe a very delicate stroke I'm looking for some separation uh, maybe we should increase the size a bit as we said it's all in the subtleties like this and now we have a button without a frame that looks like something from the same world 
of this primary button that we created. If we have our X button like this, all we have to do is just duplicate it, bring these vertices down a bit, erase this one, here we're gonna just duplicate it, flip it vertically, align it together and merge. And there you go. So these are the buttons that we have at the moment. Let's make some other shape and I show you how easy it is. So all we need to do, all we need to do is just for example, let's do a round button in the same style of this secondary button. So we have our shape and we'll just alt click on the effects and we just drag and drop them. And basically we are done here, right? Of course we can copy this uh, layer style here to this circular button and this secondary shine as well and here you go so right now we really have some nice style going on with these buttons okay and let's make a plus button out of it let's make it green should we kick it up a bit so inner shadow green shade this of course here looks nice drop shadow the glow basically this one should be green as well be not that green and this one green as well all right so many beautiful buttons now let's make another button style tertiary button style and this button style should be really really simple almost flat but not completely flat this is a button style that we're gonna use for our info buttons so if we have a banner like this and if you want to have some kind of info information button that we, that's gonna take us to the information uh, of this el element we don't want it to be in the same style of our primary button or of, of the same style of our secondary button. So let's write the letter I. Let's make it big. So maybe just a tiny, tiny stroke outside, full opacity, small size. already looks good and let's see about the drop shadow make it darker so that it reads better we can do just a few little tweaks to it I mean we could do you know just the same kind of effect of a highlight and give it some playfulness because eventually it is a game and everything should look happy so in this case, because we are in the, you know, in the same theme of strokes around the, the elements, I say, let's leave it like that. Another thing we could do is make it smaller. So it is there and it doesn't draw too much attention to itself. If you learned something, please let me know what it was in the comment section. And if you want to learn something, please let me know what it is. Don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel and of course clicking the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post another video. Until the next time, bye bye.